Let's do a specific heat capacity question together. So we've got to use the physics equation sheet, which you'll have in 2026 and 2027, and we need to know what the formula is. So I'm going to use this now. There's only one equation that has specific heat capacity in it, which is great. We've got the mass, we've got energy transferred, we're trying to find temperature change. So even though it's four marks, it's just a straightforward equation question. So I'm going to write down from my equation sheet, energy equals mass times by specific heat capacity times by temperature change. I'm going to write the symbols next to the quantities so I know what I'm doing later on. So I've got energy up here, temperature change here, mass here, specific heat capacity here. My next stage is to insert values. So I'm going to do 0 0.0130 and the mass is in standard form so, and the specific heat capacity is 1.01. .01. Now, this is a really, really sneaky one here because it's in kilojoules per kilogram degree Celsius. Specific heat capacity is normally measured in joules per kilogram degree Celsius. So we have to convert it. So actually, instead of 1.01, .01, it's times by 1,000 because it's a kilo, meaning 1,000 joules. So it's actually 1.010, which is 1,010. Times by the temperature change, which we don't know. You can leave it as the symbol. You can write it as an X. And we've got a mark for doing that and a mark for doing that. We haven't even got our calculator out yet. Next is the fine tuning element. I would probably always times these two together just to make your life easier, to make it look a bit neater. You don't have to do that if you're confident enough. I'm just going to put it in now just to save, um, you know, messing up a bit later. So 2.6 times 10 to the minus 8 times by 1010 uh, gives us this value here. So I'm going to rewrite everything the same. Take an extra line, take all the room you need. 2.626 times 10 to the power minus 5 times by the temperature change. Next, hopefully we can see what to do with it next, because we've got uh, two numbers times by this. To get rid of a times, I've got to divide. So the fine, next fine tuning stage is 0 0.130 divide by 2.626 times 10 to the minus 5 equals my temperature change. And if I divide those two things together in this question, I'm going to be able to find my temperature change, which is actually quite high if I remember rightly. Yeah, really high temperature change, 495. This question is part of a bigger question where something lights on fire. So um, the fact it's like a high temperature change, not the end of the world, just means we've got to just double check our answer. 